Welcome back to the 17th episode of A Close Combat, the longest day playthrough with the allies in the Grand Campaign on Elite Difficulty. And this time around we're here in Point the Hawk, and uh, we're being, uh, well, we're attacking with um, not a 15 squad forcer, Rangers actually, uh, second Ranger Battalion. And uh, yeah, well, this one uh, can be a bit tricky. Let's get to it though, let's have a look at the map. So. We're deploying here, we need to get up like a pretty significant hillside here, and uh, fight the way through this terrain. Where there is a lot of places the enemies can take cover, and we need to push through it and uh, clear it all out. So yeah, let's have a look at the opponent here. Um, what do we have? A couple of Gunnadir MG teams and another flak gun. I mean, the flat guns haven't really been that useful for them, so I think we just give them them uh, some MG Gunnadels instead. So we're up against three MG Gunnadel teams, two heavy MG-34 teams. Uh, yeah, so we need to watch out for five MG uh, teams across the map as we move in. Oh. That being said, let's return the player here and uh, set up our advance force. Wait, is it... Hmm... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have to go in with this then. I see. Okay, well, we have uh, assault teams with like uh, decent stuff, I guess, and uh, 30 cal medium machine gun teams, quite a few of those actually. Bazooka team, that's going to be useful. And 60 millimeter mortar and a sniper. So this is all we have. Um, we gotta keep that stuff alive. Alright, well, uh, phew, yeah, this is a tough one, not gonna lie. It can be, at least. Very easily, it can be. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, let's put a Tordical team out here. Actually, if I'm down on the beach, can we shoot up at all? No, it's like a, a cliff type thing. Uh, but yeah, okay, let's put a Tordical here. In fact, we got a few Tordicals, so maybe just put two here. And we can put the Mortal team up in between them as well. Tordy rounds of 60mm, so at least we got more ammo. It's just not as uh, good ammo as uh, the other Mortal teams would have. And let's see. Let's have the Ranger Platoon HQ just kind of move over here, I guess, together with one assault team that will hopefully do the trick in fact let's give them a turdy cal team as well just move in in that direction uh ranger assault team just move them over there together with another ranger assault team and a ranger turdy cal medium machine gun team and then we have another assault team we'll move them in here as well and just for shits and giggles let's put a bazooka team here i guess not very useful, but oh well. And uh, let's get the sniper in position here as well. Hope we don't get mortars dumped on us too hard here, but let's go. Naval barrage, Naval barrage available. That's actually quite nice. So if we see something that seems under... Well, last episode I completely wasted it, so <laughs> I'm going to try to not do that this time. Uh, okay, we see some enemies over here. I'm not sure I want to use the uh, mortar or the artillery barrage just yet. They dug some trenches here, left them for another position. Alright, we've secured the beach. Woohoo, go us. Alright, I kind of want to move the assault teams up first and then kind of have the Tordical teams covering the approach and then move the Tordical teams in uh, once we've kind of gained a little bit of ground. I seemingly there's a couple of teams in the area. I'm just going to, to use this uh, naval barrage here. See if we can't knock some enemies out before we make a move. Right, and get these guys. Ooh, that sounded really beefy. We landed a good hit there. Oh, yeah. Completely destroyed them over here. Are we taking casualties? Yeah, we are. Such is life, I guess, in a war zone. So let's see if we can push the uh, Ranger Assault teams in here a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
Tell the cow team can't reach anything from here, but we can move it in. Uh, just uh, can we get off this inside at all? Oh wow, that is a beautiful naval bombardment going in there. And can we also launch some mortars towards there? We already are. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, we've done some good work so far. Oh, you're right, they need to climb up the cliffs. And that could take a little while, basically. But yeah, we're seeing a lot of enemies, sir. That's, uh, you know, good and bad, I guess. Yeah, so they're kind of the best of climbing up those walls, scaling them. And over here, we just take these guys, move in, in this general area here, this direction, let's go. One thing I'm not looking forward to on the <laughs> German playthrough is those naval barrages. They can really uh, turn the tide quite quickly if I have less units to feel than uh, our enemies currently have. What the fuck just hit us though? Yeah, yeah, incoming, but just, just move, just move, just move. Go, 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 you should have cover. And a sniper and, and everything. Maybe not so much cover, actually. Okay, we'll, we'll move these teams up here as well. Get the bazooka team in. Get the tur Well, this Turdicale is covering at the moment, so... Sniper, Turdicale, bazooka. What am I not moving here? The sniper. Let's go. Let's go. Kind of struggling a little bit to get up here, but such is life. I have one guy left there. Can we take him out? So this MG team is gone. What the fuck is going on? It's like they're shooting at us with a gun, but they don't have any guns. Oh, damn it. We'll get into the observation post, maybe. Oh, there's a minefield. I forgot to check. Okay, we ran into like the one mine that we saw. Beautiful. Uh, these guys have apparently not climbed up yet. That sounds like an MG42. Is it the command teams that have MG42s, maybe? I mean, we've done a lot of damage, but we haven't actually completely taken out any of these teams. Well, one now, but... Okay, the observation post is ours, but we're taking casualties, and that isn't good. Usain Bolt is over here, apparently. Well, uh, the bazooka and sniper teams are moving in. I'm not sure that's like the teams we would want to have <laughs> making the... Uh, initial engagement though. I don't know, these teams are kinda... yeah. Well, as long as we get them up, we can maybe get them out into this trench. These guys that have actually made it up. And then, yeah, let's just see. Move the bazooka team over here, see if they can spot any enemies. Maybe. Keep running in the mines though. That's just not good. You guys scale that damn cliff already? Oh no. Why are we running into mines all the damn time? How many mines are there? What the hell? Why are we not shooting this? Seeking cover. Great. I mean, they set up the mortars and they start not taking fire, but just start to seek cover. It's, I love how that works like that. One of our assault infantry is pretty much basically gone. So, you know, that's... Pretty nice. Uh, okay, we'll move this Tordicale team in here as well. Guess we might as well move in the Mortals as well, since they're just fucking around anyway. We'll get this gun emplacement over here. Fucking hell, man. They're just... We're in the kill zone of the enemy right now. Tordicale cannot return fire, but will be shot at. Air strike away. Right, we're gonna throw that right there. And now they're moving out. Oh my lord, the timing. For fuck's sake. Oh, come on. And we actually hit the target for once with them, so now, of course, then they just leave as soon as we target it. <laughs> come on. Well, that gun emplacement, uh, it's not ours, because what the fuck? There we go. Okay, maybe we can make some moves, so. Uh, we need to make something happen. This is a very tricky scenario, so... It does look, however, like we can kind of just move across here uh, and get into these trenches, so let's kind of get to that. And uh, maybe we can sneak the sniper into the end of the trench, though. And also possibly stop taking so damn many casualties. Would be nice. 
Um, having MG file from where? Sort of back somewhere? Not entirely sure. I'm not even going to be looking for too hard right now. We need to get these guys up on the goddamn top of this. Okay, yeah, so we can clear these guys out. That's a MG team, I'm pretty sure. We took out one team there, but if we can take this MG team out, that would be very nice. And there's another team right there as well. Alright, the enemy morale suddenly dropped very significantly, so... That's good. That is very good. We just cross here, I guess. See what happens. Um, dead guy, sir. Not sure what to make of that. Maybe they're trying to make a move on the beach or something. All right, let's just have them on defend instead, so they can take the shots they choose to take. And maybe we can use this bunker here for something. Got this thirty cal team moving in. Are able to shoot out from her? Yes, but not where we need them to. Right, move to this crater here. Where are these guys? Still have not scaled the wall. So I'm in the cliff. And these guys, any shots out from here? Some. Nothing of any use though. Let's get into this uh, crater here. And just run through the wall, of course. Because physics don't exist in this universe. Right, I think we're moving these uh, Tordy Cow guys up a little bit though. I think we're making pretty good progress though, actually. Maybe move in these guys as well if we're lucky. Not sure. Hey, there comes the Platoon HQ finally. Oh, okay, it's a pretty exposed team over there. Works for me though. I will admit that. Alright, setting up the Tordical here. Not sure exactly if they're gonna be very useful. These guys surrender. We still have that other team there that we need to deal with. Can move this Tordical team here into that gun emplacement. Maybe this one as well. The sniper could work as a sparter, but he's not sparring anything. Unfortunately. And the mortars are, I mean, where are they moving? It says they're moving. I, I don't know. You know. I'm just really not sure I believe that. So, okay, what's up with this 30 cal team? Okay, we got one guy left here and the other one is somewhere else, so... Maybe we just uh, play a bit more careful with them. But probably some MG team here with like one or two guys still left in it. Enemy morale is starting to break, but... Oh, really? Just can we... Fuck climbing up, then. Just start shooting, though, please. Really need to get ice on that shit that's over there. And uh, where exactly is... Okay, this bunker. Can't smoke. That's great. These guys can. Uh, yeah, maybe get a better possession, though. Like... Over here. Seeking cover, so we're not going to be using this fucking mortar for the rest of this game then, apparently. Probably. If uh, experience is anything to go by. If we can clear out these guys, we can make a move. With uh, the guys that are kind of pinned down in this area. Maybe we can uh, move these guys into the spunk. Go ahead. Oh, we're going to get grenades so hard. Are we seeing them here now? Yes, we are. Good. Finally. Oh my god. So if we get that Tordy Kel set up, then uh, we should be able to do some serious damage here. Uh, where can we shoot that from this bunker, though? Into not very many places. But if we take out this enemy team, then things will be good. And I think we moved the Platoon HQ over here as well. Move up to 30 cal team, maybe not, I don't know, this fucking MG man. So... Yeah, we just need to... Hey, the mortar is actually firing, yeah. Alright, let's um, try to suppress that. I don't know. Okay, they surrendered, good. We're gonna smoke off this damn bunker here so we can make some moves. 
Uh, the enemy cannot have much left now. It might just be this team and that team. So actually this is going pretty well. Despite the massive casualties we've taken. And that should be... Oh, there we go. If we can just get this guy before we move further, then these guys won't get spotted, probably. And then we can move in safer. So just keep tumbling smoke over here. I really, really wish this indicator for where the smoke's going to be placed wouldn't be covered by the smoke. Just really think that would make a bit more sense. Either way, uh, yeah, can we get this guy? Is that possible? If we have enough smoke out now, so let's just mortar that guy if we can. I'm gonna start moving the teams across, so... We can just kind of get in these guys' face. Let's try to flank around this way. But, uh, good, now they won't be spotted. Move this MG team over there. This MG team can maybe go here. Grenades are going out. And it's not for now, guys, I think. So, yeah. Alright, they surrendered. Not sure who surrendered actually, was it these guys here? Yeah, it was like one Grenadier MG guy, that's all that was left though. So, we're making good progress here. Uh, can we just maybe take position in the various trenches here? Oh! An MG team there. Yeah, they can take that ceasefire and stick it where the sun don't shine. There we go, now we see them, so now we can start uh, annihilating them. Does this Tordical team have shots? They do not. I'm actually going to just move them in though. In a very risky maneuver. Maybe to this crater there or something. Oh, they have an MG team in another bunker as well. Uh, that's not so good, but uh, oh well. Let's get this MG team on the side there. Someone surrendered? These guys in here surrendered? That works really well for me. I'm not gonna lie, so if we can set this... No, can't set it up. And he's low now. Should be the last remaining enemy team, this one. Oh no, there's another one over here as well. Yeah, there's a trench there. Okay, but that isn't really that big of an issue. I'm actually going to just sneak these guys in. Can we fire here from... at these guys here now? Move in the mortar team if possible, get the bazooka team going, maybe they can go and take that. And, uh... Let's see... Set up the Turtical. Yeah, and just also give these guys help, please. Get out into the trenches and do it if you have to. Okay, I'll put them on the fence. They might have shots up there soon. Who knows? And so... There's a Tordical team set up there. Seeking so cover currently. Can't shoot there, but... We'll take a turn fire for whatever reason. Ranger Assault team. Get them in a the bunker. There's another Ranger Assault team. Not much left of it, but... So good. Yeah, we can give them a ceasefire as soon as we take these two victor locations. I'm happy to do that, absolutely. So there we go. Uh, mortar team's coming in. We might need those rifles because we've taken a lot of casualties, but we have a pretty full strength assault team here still in action. Which I guess helps. Uh, maybe we can get the Tordy Cal. Oh, I misclicked a bit. Uh, just kind of like move along the uh, trenches, so. With these assault teams that are pretty much depleted, also in the trenches. Not that one then, I guess. Wait, they're in the trenches, let's just shoot at them. Right. Things aren't going fantastic or anything, but... Might work out. What's that bazooka guy? Alright, so what we're gonna do, I think... We'll try uh, just taking a little bit of a detour over there, and then run out there. Take the victory location. And we also need this gun emplacement, uh, so... Uh, smoke grenades, do we still have them? The two in HQ does. If we can smoke out there... They can support... And what I'm thinking is we start putting down some serious fire onto these guys. If that's possible. Maybe from here. No. 
And I think we move in this uh, full strength team here. Full strength ish. Just get him closer and okay, we took casualties. The platoon HQ is down. Just want to get closer to these guys. Maybe we can get some grenades thrown into their um, little crater there if we get enough people close to them. But it looks like this was a horrendous decision and this. Uh, I kind of knew it, like it was risky to do that, but we just need this gun emplacement though and then life is good. In fact, why don't I try this? We can sneak along these trenches. I'm just too impatient to try it though, though. I should have, but I'm an impatient fool sometimes, what can I say? What are these explosions? Is it rifle grenades? Uh, no ammo left on this thing. No smokes left either. We'll move them in, see if we can't sneak them in a bit later. Maybe just sneak this guy along the trenches as well. These guys are both to the sneak, so I don't know. Go, 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 I guess. Alright, maybe this guy can set up and get some shots on these guys. That would be nice. Uh, the guy with the machine gun is broken over here, so that's not too good. I mean, we've almost got this. We just need this fucking victory location. Ah, well, this one. But we're working on it. Yeah, the bazooka guy's getting pretty close, so... Uh, there's one guy still alive here and he's scared shitless. We just need to clear out these guys and then we'll go over basically. Okay, there's another guy down. I don't know, they might have like one guy left here now. If we could get him at some point, it would be fantastic. I'm gonna run this mortal team across into here, maybe they can be useful. Okay, I'm gonna run these guys over here as well, or this guy specifically. They surrendered. Ah, that's unfortunate. We just need that last guy dead and then we're fine. We kind of need to press the fire in the area here. I'm fully aware of that ceasefire offer. Don't need to keep telling me. Tell me if they don't offer it anymore instead. Okay, and we have this thing. Keep moving the bazooka guy in. Maybe up like this and then this direction. Got us two guys still alive though. Uh, this guy's injured, so it doesn't say if he's like winded or anything. But if we can get him into this bunker, and maybe he can overlook these guys, set up the machine gun and uh, spray them down. We're gonna actually move regular speed. Okay, we take we took out one guy here. Good. The mortal team's about to be completely destroyed, but only one enemy left here, and then we can take this damn vector location and call it a day. I mean, I didn't do this very well. Like, I could have done much better as I moved through here. But it's like, at all the time, even though we're really low on, on everything right now, I was thinking, well, it's not optimal, but it's okay. You know, it's good enough. It gets the job done. Probably. Most likely. We can get that last guy there. I uh, can't shoot him from here. Maybe there's like a window here or something. We can get a shot there from. What are you doing? Don't glitch through the wall. You're going the wrong way. What the fuck is this? There you go. Ah, oh, they surrendered. Beautiful. Right, well, then it's time to move in these guys. Well, I can't get shot by this uh, MG stuff over here. Take this gun emplacement and call it a day. Call it a day with massive, massive casualties. But, all this, uh, well, that ends well. All this good that ends good, or however the hell that saying goes. Either way, can you guys keep pinning them? You got 500 rounds left, so yes, you can. Just need to reload the machine gun. Uh, 
There we go. It's loose. Okay, it didn't immediately end the combat this time. So we're gonna have to wait two minutes, unfortunately. But that's fine. Um, yeah, so let's have a little look at, uh, at the battlefield. We lost a few guys climbing up here. Took a lot of casualties in this area. Like, a lot. I'm not sure why we had guys die there. Maybe I deployed them there, I'm not sure. And climbing up here was just horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. Uh, yeah, but I'm pretty psyched about the uh, naval artillery strike. Kind of just really... I mean, we got lucky though. I saw two teams moving, fired it off. Turns out it was like four or five teams in the area. Although we didn't take out any teams completely with it. Um, we certainly did a lot of damage to a lot of teams. So that is great. And, uh, yeah, I don't care too much about... Okay, let's fire at this stuff if we can, I guess. Might as well. Maybe we get lucky and hit something. Yeah, or we lose something. Oh well. Yeah, we've already accepted that one, thank you very much. This is a pretty hard map. Um, I certainly could have played it better. I mean, maybe I could have moved all the way along this beach here and around and up the hills here. I probably should have done that, actually. But I was thinking, is it necessary and what the hell? This guy just surrendered and decided, fuck it, I'm going for a swim. I've been here, in position, all this time, haven't had a single swim. I'm going for a swim before I'm becoming a prisoner of war. Good for him. You go. You go, boy. Is the morale not like zero now? Should this not have ended? And, well, it's ending. The morale is zero. Let's look at the details, though. We killed 17, incapacitated 20, and took 4 prisoners. We had 17 of our own guys killed, 30 incapacitated, so basically 47 casualties. If we look at our soldiers here now, I mean, this ranger assault team is one survivor, this is one survivor, this is dead, one guy surviving and injured, uh, platoon HQ dead, uh, 30 cal MG team gone except for one guy that's injured, uh, this is destroyed, destroyed, there's two guys surviving here, which I think doesn't count as them uh, being still operational, half the bazooka team is still alive, so maybe, actually, like, We've taken this place now, but I think every single thing inside this uh, division here or whatever, this regiment, will just count as no longer combat effective and destroyed. Except for maybe the bazooka team. Which, I think we claim the map, but uh, or like the, the section on the map, but the, the ranger battalion might be removed from the map uh, next turn, so... Well, time will tell. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, I would appreciate if you would leave a like on it, maybe even subscribe if you haven't already. And, uh, well, you can catch me in the next one. Have a good one.